Thank you, Nalina. Uh, yeah, it is Animal uh, Wing It Gone Wild Week, so of course we have Jared Miller and Tanya with another wild animal from Hawk Creek Animal Center. So tell us about what we're looking at right now. Oh, this guy is awesome, Matt. This is Barf. And Barf, actually, his name <laughs> has some significance because then Tanya will explain. He's a turkey vulture, and barfing is what they do best. And Tanya, wh why do vultures barf? Well, uh, unlike a bird of prey, they have really weak feet, so if he gets scared of something, uh, his best defense must uh, mechanism is projectile vomit. What's the what's their logic behind that? Well, the things that they eat, they eat carrion, things that are already dead that have been sitting in the sun that smell really bad. So it smelled bad the first time, the second time it <laughs> smells even worse. And these guys will gorge themselves so much that they're too heavy to fly. So they lose weight really quick. They can fly away from a predator and most predators are distracted. So we're not going to want to take after the vulture and try to use that as our own defense tactic. Wouldn't that recommend might it. Not go so well. <laughs> exactly. Over. Yeah, now, talk about nerves. Now, how, how old is he? Uh, Barf is about seven years old. And um, is, uh, is this something that's native to around here, or is it something? Absolutely. These are the big birds that you see flying around. The easiest way to tell that it's one of these guys is that they actually hold their wings in a V shape when they fly. So V for vulture, very easy to remember. Whereas hawks and eagles around here hold them flat. Now, I was talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people seem to be really afraid of the larger birds of prey. Is, there's nothing to worry about, right? No, actually, I mean, especially here in, in western New York and throughout the United States, I mean, birds of prey are essential for the environment. A vulture like this, well, they're the garbage men of the environment. I mean, they'll circle around in their flocks, and they'll pretty much clean up roadkill and anything that is dead to, you know, prevent bacteria growth. And that's why they're bald, too. And vultures, like Tanya was saying, there's a lot of easy ways to identify a vulture, because they're about similar size to a lot of our hawks and, and other bird, and owls that we have here in Western New York. When they're soaring, they'll always soar and you know, they, they circle together. And you know, like classic you know, desert movies, you see the <laughs> vulture circling, you know, something's dead in the area. Um, but when they fly, like not only are their wings in the shape of a V, but their feathers on, the, or on their tips, their primary feathers, kind of come out like little fingers. So if you see a bird circling up and it looks like it has fingers at the end of its wings, then we know it's, it's a, a vulture. vulture. And also the male pattern baldness, too. I mean, <laughs> he's, you, I, you ask about his age, but you know, vulture are born bald and they're bald for their entire life. And Tanya, really, what, what, why is a vulture bald? Well, these guys are bald because, as, as I said, cleaning up dead stuff, it's a tough job. They have to stick their head into all kinds of ooey gooey goodness. <laughs> and uh, by being bald, anything that gets stuck on their head, they sit in the sun, it dries, and they can flake it right off. So it's actually for hygiene. It's to keep them. It's to keep them clean. Now, last time you were here, we talked about Wild Rent Fest. Mm -hmm. um, how'd that go over last week? Oh, it was great. It went really well. We were a little concerned with the rain, even though we really need it Sunday. But uh, it cleared up, and we had good crowds coming out. Um, so it's it's going to be a good time again. This weekend is looking pretty good. So we're we're excited about that, and we have even uh, with the rain. I mean, it was the the crowds were it cooled it down. It, it cooled nice. it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was hot days. You definitely <laughs> yeah, I know everyone was out there with their umbrellas, but yeah, it was just great, great crowds, and we're even more excited for this coming weekend because you know I'll be there again, and mm -hmm. then also you know the jousters thing that you, people have to see this. I mean, to see real life jousters right here in East Aurora is it's pretty uh, awesome. Uh, and they knock each other off the horses <laughs> and everything. And we're gonna find out more information on that, and we also are gonna meet another furry friend, uh, it's Skunk, which I'm a, I'm a little nervous. About, but now we're going to head it over to Nalina, who's uh, who's cooking up something nice. <laughs> 